Hi everybody, it's Connie, and I am back with a Get Ready With Me. It seems like I haven't done one of these in a hot minute, but um, I did pre-film quite a few of them a while ago. So uh, I'm going to do one today, and I've also got a lot of other videos that I want to get done before I start work on Monday. And so this one here will be going up very soon, so it doesn't confuse me. Confuse you too much since I said that. And, um, yep, I got the job at the food service place. It's the college um, cafeteria or whatever you want to call it, dining room. And I'm going to be doing all the salads and the salad prep. And um, also then they'll train me to cook on the grill, which I know how to cook on a grill. Um, they'll teach me how to run their cash register, that, that kind of stuff, you know, so I can help out everywhere besides just doing the salads. So I'm very, very excited. I did call today and found out that I will get another month of food stamps because it's too late now to cancel that, which makes me very happy because I'm almost out of food stamps and this will help me through a month while I'm, you know, waiting for that first check, etc., you know. So anyway, uh, let's get on with this. I put on my primer and I tossed it over here. Duh. And I'm using the um, is it Laura? Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio, and it's a primer base, and it's in 300, um, and it's in the green packaging, so it's supposed to cover up red. All right, so now I'm going to go in with my color corrector, and I'm going to use this one here. Just going to warm it up with my finger here. And I am sweating. I should have turned the fan on. I think I'll do that. So I don't have much more news than that. That's quite enough, isn't it? I'm pretty happy. I needed this so bad. This living off of unemployment is for the birds. And I never did get a phone call today from the um, truck stop place. They were going to give me a phone call to reschedule. I knew I wouldn't. Okay. Got that dang little pimple or whatever it is on my above my lip there that drives me nuts because you can really see it for sure. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put on my, my um, concealer before my foundation. And it's, I'm wearing the Better Skin Concealer Acilic Actel C. And it is in 0 or 20. I don't know what color it is. <laughs> it's either in light, anywhere from fair to light. Let's put it that way. And I wet a beauty blender or a beauty sponge. Be 
before I go and wet those every time, I just go ahead and wash them right away. Because why not? So I always start out with them clean that way. And right now, this is my favorite one. I really need a Real Techniques sponge. Because mine went kaput, or I can't find it. I'm just going to conceal just a couple little spots here. I do that just because I see other people doing it, so... All right, for foundation today, I'm going to also wear my better skin. That's why I chose that concealer. And this is, boy, I just can't see nothing the last few days. So I'll tell you what. It's an ivory. Here's my brush. Lulu, if you're watching this, I use the clarifying shampoo. I do, do not have a mask yet, though. I might run to the store after I'm done here today and get one. Or, Well, I can't really afford that right now, so I don't know. I might get some, like, coconut oil or whatever you told me to get. a lot with this stuff. It looks rather cakey. Maybe it's getting too old. No, it's probably a year old. But it looks rather cakey. I'm not real happy with that. I might have to uh, get rid of some of my foundations. Because they aren't making me happy anymore. i buy a few more different ones once I get going here. All right. So let's go now with my brows, and I'm going to go with um, Brow This Way by Rimmel. Trying to see what color it is, and it's not telling me. Yeah, it doesn't tell me. I'm sure it's anywhere from light to medium brown. So I'm going to end up with it on my brow here. I 
That doesn't look too bad. As long as you use a light hand, it's not so bad. Got a streak in there. there. This is pretty easy to put on too, this Rimmel. I don't mind it at all. K for, I'm gonna use my Urban Decay. So, tell me guys, do you have anything planned for the weekend? I do not, except for cleaning up this dang bedroom. I've got boxes on the floor that I need to clean out and get rid of, because it's getting way too cluttered. So I'm going to go between two palettes today. I'm going to start out with uh, Sonia Kashuk. And this is all matte. Let's see here. Let's, what do I want to go with in the crease? Let's see here. this first. Very powdery. Wow, that foundation is still wet. Not just tacky, it's wet. I wish there was some way that I could afford to have eye surgery. I would love to have my eyes tightened, my lids. I tell you what, my eyelids are so wrinkly and hooded and I would love to have them done. If I could do one thing to my body, I think that's what I'd do with my eyes. How about you guys? If you could have one thing, do one thing, plastic surgery wise, what would you do? One thing. I would do my eyes. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with my Essence All About Bronze palette. I've not used this much, so I want to get the get some more use out of this. I'm going to go a little dark today. going to do anything fancy with my eyes today. I'm just going to do this. Goodness, that's so pretty. That's all I'm going to do. Do 
trying to learn how to blend a little bit better. I like it. Okay. I'm going to use just a touch of this for under the eye. I used in, in my Sonia Kashik. I used this one here, and I used this on my lids, this one, well, where in the heck am I, this one here. in the eye. Just a little bit of that this color here in the bottom. And then I use this on the lid. Okay, for some mascara, I am going to use my Grandissimo Lashes by Milani. I love this stuff. Just love this stuff. It's got a huge wand, which I prefer. I like the bigger ones. I think they do more for me than the skinny ones. since I don't hardly have any lashes really to speak of. And I'm going to start taking a picture after I do my get ready with me's. And I go to start back to work Monday. So, can you guess what's coming back on Monday? Makeup of the week. Now, what I want from you guys, you guys are always so awesome at giving me, I've got a hair here, at giving me um, advice. Should I keep it at that name? Or should I Name it something else. Um, because it's going to be, it's going to be, you know, like I did before, the same stuff I, all week long, except for I'm going to change, I'm going to use one palette or two small ones and uh, change the look every day. And I probably won't be wearing, I, I'm assuming it's going to be warm in the kitchen, so I'm not going to wear foundation. I will test the waters there and see how warm I get, how much I sweat. If I don't sweat too bad, then I will probably just, I will probably wear foundation from then on. But um, I'm just going to use different lipsticks and different um, eye looks all week long. So you tell me, should I leave it um, at make it making it work or should I change the name? Give me a good name, a really good catchy name that I can use. I think my eyes look awesome. All right. And I'm really hoping this angle you could see better. I'm really hoping you could. Let me know that, too, if you like this this um, angle. And I'm going to use my tardiest. Tart, tartest? 
I always want to say tardiest. I think it's tardest. Okay, so let's see. What do we want to wear today? Let's just wear this pink on the end here. I start trying to knock the excess off of my brushes from now on because I'm not I don't do very good at that. Probably the last time I put makeup on before I go to work on Monday morning. And I don't know how long I'll be working because my normal hours would be like seven o'clock in the morning, but I'm going at eight. So I don't know if I'm gonna be doing orientation or what. I have no idea. You guys see him? I didn't until I heard him. Okay, what I'm wearing on my lips today is the Vivid Matte Liquid in and I have no idea. It says there, but the the writing is so tiny. Let's see if it'll clear up for you. I forgot to use my highlighter. Anyway, this is a nice um, nude color, nudie pink color. And I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution highlighter palette my Radiance palette and I am going to use the middle one that's the one I like and this stuff is so powdery I need to get my other brush out of the kitchen <laughs> wash it a week ago and it's still sitting in there too lazy This isn't the best highlighter I've ever had, that's for sure. Maybe with the right brush. I just don't have the right brush to use. Okay, guys, that is my, my uh, get ready for me for, for the day. And I will, oh, see his tail moving? What are you doing up there? What are you doing? Huh? What you doing? Oh, no, he's got to come rub on me because <laughs> I talked to him. God forbid. My hair, I blue dry it today for the blue dry it. Blow. I used the blow dryer on it <laughs> for the first time since I've had it long. I, I never blow dry my hair. I always usually, but in the winter it takes a lot, or in the cooler weather I should say, it takes a lot longer for it to dry for me. I can put it up in a ponytail and uh, go to work in the morning. When I come home from work, it's still wet back here. That's how thick my hair is. So I need to start using the blow dryer on it and, and drying it a little bit before I go because it's always crunchy by the in the winter time if I don't so anyway I will talk to you guys very soon if you see me in the same shirt you know what I'm doing talk to you later bye bye if you like this kind of thing please give me a thumbs up and share the video talk to you bye